Downtown Carnival. In fact, the launch actually started by Memorial Park and everybody made their way down to Woodford Square. Um, there's a lot of excitement. I'm excited. I feel as if it's Carnival Monday and Tuesday already. Um, we're about to head into Woodford Square and see what everything's all about. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, on behalf of the Port of Spain Corporation, I want to once more welcome you all here as we declare Carnival 2015 officially open. Hi, so I'm here with Mr. Wendell Stevens, the Chairman of Culture and Festivals. Hi, Wendell. Hi, hi. How are you? I'm fine, I'm oh. fine. All right, well, I'm, I'm not relieved that the, that, that the parade has ended. Okay, okay, I saw it setting up and it was fantastic. I was yeah. really excited. Right, very good, because as I say, my emphasis since becoming chairman last year is to use the traditional mass to do our, our, our launch. As opposed to the bikini and beads, they have a lot of time to do all of that. The traditional mass characters get very little time to be highlighted. So you, you'll find that tomorrow, all the pictures will be on this traditional mask. And I, I just love seeing traditional masks. Yeah, it was quite entertaining. It was beautiful, actually. Um, so what can we expect this year? Um, is there anything new that we can all look forward to seeing? Uh, well, again, we had more characters come out this year than we did last year when, when, it, when it was, the season was very short in terms of me becoming chairman and trying to get Carnival off the ground. Um, but this year we had a wonderful turnout. A lot of more people came out into the streets this year. And um, we're hoping that our surprises are coming. The surprises are coming. So you have a few surprises in store? Yes. All right. Yes. I, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag yet, but you, 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 you'll be surprised before the evening is up. Well, I'm not sure if you can tell us at this point, because I know you said I have a few surprises, but um, are there any new or, I should say, an increase in any of the cash prizes? Well, last year, um, we had, in fact, um, increased the amount of positions that we rewarded um, for the parade of Carnival. And we're hoping to maintain that this year. Um, we are thankful that the Junior Parade has once again um, come back to the city. It was a very contentious issue last year when they had moved it out of the city into the Woodbrook area. And the children struggled to reach the Savannah. This year, to the wisdom of the new NCC chairman, uh, Ms. Lauren Couchet, she has brought the carnival back to downtown. And we are extremely grateful to Ms. Couchet, we are extremely grateful to the mayor for standing up with the bands and for Roslyn Gabriel, Gerald Weeks, Doon Ali, all of those band leaders who stood up with us last year and maintained that route through the streets of Port of Spain. And all, finally, just want to find out, um, we have noticed, or people have noticed generally, that there are less people coming out to spectate and take in all the bands and all the entertainments and all of that. Uh, do you have any plans or anything specifically planned out to bring people back out onto the streets to spectate? Well, yesterday in the media launch, the mayor highlighted the, the issue of security. And a lot of people don't realize that downtown is the safest place because of the heavy police presence and the heavy uh, security network that takes place at City Gate when people exit. That's where it's the safest place, so why not just stay downtown? So we are hoping that more people recognize this. Downtown has been devoid of any incidents. The, 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 the flow of the bands across the state has never been an issue. So we're hoping that people see the wisdom in playing mass in downtown and viewing mass in downtown. Thank you so much. I know you're a busy man, so I'm going to let you go. But thank you so much for your time. Thank All right. Alright, so we're still here at Woodford Square and what was supposed to be the launch of Downtown Carnival but what is clearly turning into a full-fledged bet. Alright, uh, we just saw Marshall Montano get his Lifetime Achievement Award, an award well deserved. Uh, he had to dash out to prepare for his next fest. Once again, this is Ricola for Loop TT. See you at the next one.